Here we go. Oh, well, why don't I just hold the door for you? Or I can help. Winter warmer. It has been cold crashing. Oh. Okay. Okay, so uh, when we were taking our gravity reading, we had a little taste, because that's what you do. And uh, we thought, you know, maybe there isn't quite enough cinnamony flavor for us. Cinnamony, you know, that warmer part of it. So we made a tincture. It, it just tasted like a porter. Yeah, it was a good porter, but yeah. you know, it, it was close, but not quite. And so we made a tincture, so it has uh, vodka, and then we added the cinnamon, allspice, and um, now I'm drawing a blank. Cinnamon, allspice, and? Nutmeg. Nutmeg, thank you. Sorry, I drew a blank. Uh, and it's been sitting there for a while, and uh, woo, it's very strong. So clearly that's too much. So we did an experiment to 50 milliliters. We did it three times, we added nothing. So this is straight up 50 milliliters. This one we added 0.1 milliliters, and this one we added 0.5 milliliters, and we tested each of them. We've, you know, we've tasted them kind of cold. We let them chill. The one thing they're missing are bubbles, but um, we've decided that the 0.1 milliliters to the 50 milliliters was the one we like best. So 0.1, that's really not that much. Uh, so we were pretty close with the amount of spicing we put in. We figured out for the 10 liters. It's about 10 liters. We'll need roughly 20 milliliters when we do the algebra out. So really not that much. Algebra? It's the, life of, it's the math of life, okay. Glenn. It's the math of life. Um, so we're going to add 20 milliliters to this 10 liter keg. We're going to leave the other one empty. Not empty, but we're going to not add any we're... additional flavors to it just to compare the two in case, you know, we're completely wrong. <laughs> and well, yeah, because we, we completely it's, blow it. After and it's carbonated, it... It may it, be completely different. So it, no matter what happens, we're going to have one 10-liter keg to bring to our festive winter warm-up events. Yes. So... So let's make this the keg that has the tincture. Um, and I completely forgot my glasses, as you can see, oh. so I cannot measure anything. Okay, you watch the keg. That I can do. That's big and enough for me to see. I will measure. <laughs> I so the math says the math says twenty milliliters. I'm going to err on the side. I'd go a little less, <laughs> just you know, in case, because it, you know. I might do fifteen milliliters if I can. Because that stuff's pretty. Whoo, it is strong. That's like, it smells like we're roasting cinnamon buns. You know, it's just kind of. This would be it's great bad. in cocktails. Yeah, I bet it would bite though. Like yeah. it's pretty harsh. You add enough sugar. Or dilute it. <laughs> yeah, enough, just, add enough sugar. Dilute okay. it enough. That's it. Kay. So not much. So you can see not much. Not much at all. No. Um, so down the hatch. Uh, psh, what's the worst thing that happens? And it goes. And uh, there's no need to sanitize this because that was overproof vodka. That's 150 <laughs> proof vodka. So um, and also because it's only 50 milliliters, it's not going to change the alcohol content at all. Um, and this is something that. Um, Doug Appledorn taught us yes. at the People's Pint. We made a peanut butter and jam porter and put jam flavor in doing a tincture the same way. Yes, we're kind of basing this on a whole bunch of stuff we've learned from a lot of people. A lot of people along the way, yeah. A lot of people put, contributed to this in different ways, right? Um, and also, I'm going to use a carbonation cap this time just because... Um, Christmas is coming up faster than we thought. <laughs> what? Yeah. And so uh, the carbonation cap should help us carbonate it a little bit more quickly. Um, yeah, let's face it, we're a few days out. Yeah. <laughs> Which, you know, I, I don't think the cousins are going to notice. Um, it'll probably taste a little bit harsh, but, you know, they'll be fine. No, it'll be grand wonderful. It'll be wonderful. Fabulous. Perfect. Okay, so I think we're there. Yes. Um, do you want to open up that keg? Okay. Maybe. Ugh. You know, I never do that with great grace. And just spray down the top. This top? Yes. Put that. Put the lid in there. Spray down the top. There you go. And. A little minimal mess. All right. Okay. Crank it on. La. Look 
does spray much better than I did. Mine just kind of, anyway. Yeah. <laughs> And that's it. So we will see you back here in, we're going to leave this a couple weeks and uh, we'll come back and do There'll a taste test. There will be none left in be none. a couple weeks. You may not get a tasting, a public tasting of this one. You might just have to take our word for it. Yeah. yeah sorry. <laughs> that's, that's it. I'm not making any guarantees. It might be gone. It probably will be gone. Yeah. Um, so come on back and uh, we'll see you for the next brew. Are we going to move this? Are we going to move out of the kitchen, do you think? Do you think we should build a room? <laughs> no. No? I don't think so. Do you think we should? Well, it'd be nice to... You know to... where this is going, right? Yeah. This is like, hmm, I think I want to... Do you have a room in mind? I, I think there's a... I think we should do a proper brewing room with proper shelves that isn't the kitchen. We'll see you next time. <laughs>